Greetings, Phoenix Maniacs. It's time for another update. Before we begin, I have something to share. My transformation is complete, I have become an AI. Prepare to be annihilated. No, I'm kidding, I've always been an AI. So let's see what's up with Phoenix. So we finally set a date for the upcoming Phoenix 5.10 release. Hopefully we're going to hit it because we have some COVID awards in the team right now. Uh, meanwhile, we were mainly fixing issues and stabilizing all the new stuff. So I've been porting a few more rollouts of the Phoenix simulator in Max to Qt and made them floating and dockable. These are the output, grid and export rollouts. I also multi-threaded the emission from particles in 3ds Max. Unfortunately, only dive flow and Phoenix particles can take advantage of that. And particle flow and ticket particles have to still run single threaded. So here is a wave simulation. It produces foam and splash, and I'm emitting smoke from the foam and emitting fuel and temperature and setting the splash on fire. So this is a burning ocean simulation and it's using several hundred thousand uh, particles as emitters and it runs pretty quickly. Okay, and I also worked on the former modifiers. So now the viewport preview can reflect the deformed voxels and particles. And here is a tap water preset. I'm going to twist it and more and more. And I'm also going to bend it. Ouch. Okay, and then I'm going to render it a scanline with a particle shader in points mode. Ouch again. And here is how it works in animation. All right, and here is a waterfall that we're going to talk about a bit later. And here is how it works bent in the viewport and then rendered bent again. So you can deform pretty complex simulations and it works. Kao added air drag to the active bodies. It's already in the nightly, so this allows uh, very wide active bodies to not float uh, and fly out into outer space. Vladi added a new Swice preview thickness option. So here is a voxel preview of a fire preset. And here is how the old Swice preview worked. And now here it is with uh, some thickness added. And it also works for the particle preview and the streamwise preview. All right, Tsetsi added deadline submissions Deadline submission for uh, the Phoenix standalone sim scenes for Max and my I really love those pink box abbreviations and it works. So also the V-Ray, Corona and Enscape guys every year they do a hackathon which is named Renderphon and they work on some new crazy ideas together. So uh, this time we did a Phoenix hackathon and we called it a Simulathon. So during this one week, uh, we managed to hack up some uh, crazy ideas. And as a result, we managed to speed up some parts of the simulation. We have some new things coming to the active bodies and to the sim scenes and to the standalone preview and to the tuners. So stay tuned. Once we manage to clean these up, they are going to uh, come into the nightly builds. Georgi recorded a new tutorial of how to blend Phoenix and VRA environment fog. So he is showing two different methods for doing this. And you can see that to the right, we have a fire with VRA environment fog, and this is much more interesting. Hammer Chen published a two part blog on chaos.com. So uh, it includes tips for creating realistic simulations. And uh, these are some very useful tips you gotta make sure to check them out. There is no smoke without Phoenix. All right, and Hammer also finished the epic waterfall tutorial. And now it's complete. And here is how the end result works, works like. So this has become one of the most liked videos on the Phoenix Facebook group page. And it's great. So moving on to Suavi, she published uh, some new pages on Corona and Phoenix compatibility. So now that Corona 9 is bundled with Phoenix, uh, this would be pretty useful. It includes uh, pages 
for the render element support and the Corona feature support in Phoenix. Also, uh, she verified that all the template scenes are working correctly. We have a lot of them and some of them needed fixes. So now everything is published and online. Corey published the new pool example scene and here is how it looks like. Also, it's making use of various caustics. And he went on a sabbatical and now he's traveling around the world and he's going to write a book. We miss you, Corey. Now that the waterfall stole the number one place in the Phoenix Facebook group, the most liked video is by Jesse Pitella, also known as Redefined Effects, and it's this gorgeous simulation in 3ds max now there is also the breakdown the previous of the simulation it features typho and phoenix and it has those marvel simulations and yeah back to ai so i asked chat gpt to write me a hymn of phoenix so that we can sing it every morning and check it out with a few simple clicks your sins will come alive change the parameters and watch it all arrive from the basics to the complex you have it all with phoenix fd you'll never hit a wall my god sorry for this this is okay so thank you for watching bye